telling me is, if you won the lottery, you would keep it all. Every penny. I mean, I don't see why if I win, I should give it to anyone. That's not the case. The money was given to you. You didn't earn it. Yeah, but whoever made that rule where you have to give, what is it, like 32% of your winnings to all your friends and family, that's bullshit. If I win, that's mine. That's cold, man. I mean, if I won, I would give some of my friends, my family. They've helped me out through some rough times. I figured giving them some of my winnings would show how much I appreciate them. That was literally the gayest thing I've ever heard Everything you say. is always gay. Everything's gay Look, with you. That's we both have tickets. If I somehow miraculously win, which I won't, just don't expect a penny from me, man. That's just how I work, all right? That's selfish. Are you done looking for your book? Like, no, honestly, okay, I'm me. not done finding my fucking book, okay? Hungarian Cuisine, Kenny Chesney Autobiography. That's a seventh. I don't even know where the fuck we are. How do they organize this stuff, really? I'm just gonna go grab us a seat because I am tired of looking. Okay. Your mom. Nope. What about your grandma? Fuck that. After what you did at my last birthday? No way. Nana's not getting a cent. There has to be someone you give some money to. I'd say that I would. What about me? Would you, would you give me some money? Well, come on. Have you earned it? Earned it? We're best friends. Exactly. You can't put a price on the friendship. It would just come between us, you know? So, um, are we all done with this essay thing? Can we go home? Not yet. You gotta love Cartman, right? He's genius. You know, you could just scratch that now and get... I'm waiting for the perfect time. Because I know this ticket's a winner, it's just... What happened to yours? I scratched it at lunch. And? I lost. You see, when I scratch my ticket, I'm going to know exactly what I'm going to spend the money on. I'm probably going to buy Judge Judy's wardrobe. Alright, well, uh... Good luck with that. Alright, man, see you tomorrow. Alright. Cool. Hello, Danny. Your mother and I have gone to Europe, and we've left you some yogurt in the fridge in case you're hungry. Love, Papa. Such a dick. Who? Ever since he won the lottery, he ignores me like crazy. It's like we're not even friends anymore. Dude, friends come and go all the time. I used to got some money out of it. Yeah, I didn't get a dime. What the fuck? That's not that's not a good situation to be in, man. Everyone knows that when your friend wins a large sum of money, you're allowed to have like a good 32% of that. Yeah, well, I guess we were never friends. Come over to your house tomorrow, I'll bring my friend, and we'll try to cheer you up. Is that okay? Alright, yeah, I guess so. I mean, my parents are still in Europe, so feel free to come over, I guess. How about you shut your goddamn mouth, Brian Pitt 69? Nice camp kill! Doesn't change the fact that your sister's a slut! Really, Eli? S someone left your window broken, so I just came in. Came in that way. Okay. So you're gonna come downstairs, meet my friend? What friend? 50. Your friend's, your friend's name is, is it 50. It is, it is, yeah. I know, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, hey, is he related to Robert Downey Jr. It's not. Let's, let's, let's just go downstairs. Yeah. Let's, no, yeah, no. We'll, just, we'll just go downstairs. What's going on?
on here? Grab a seat. And the toaster strudel. Made them myself. It's you and vanilla icing. And my day has officially gotten weird. Listen, Danny. Once you told me what that fuck of a friend did to you, I couldn't sleep. And I fucking love my sleep. He really fucking does, man. So I got my friend 50 over here, and we devised a plan to get you the money and the respect that you deserve. I'm listening. Can I see the plan? Why is your name on it, Eli? I would. That's five days work, man. Fucking proud of this. We already have much needed supplies. What's the liquid? That's homemade pepper spray. Homemade? Why homemade? Is there a difference? There's a big difference, little cuz. It's my home brew concoction. Brewed it around grade school. Trying to keep that lunch lady at bay. What's in it? Uh, vinegar, black pepper, cyan pepper. That's way. Human urine, 32%. There's a lot of urine in it. A lot of human urine. Of course. So, we all know what we have to do. I use my sexy voice to lure him to the front door. He opens the door. I grab the motherfucker, I'm like, splow, and then stab, stab, and just like, mmm, mmm. Yeah. Think you're talking to me. What does it say about stabbing 50? It says no stabbing. No stabbing. Not this time. So as I was saying. I lure him with my sexy voice. Hello! <laughs> Hit him with the pee base. And that's when 50 rushes in. Like clockwork orange. Danny, what the hell? Shut up, bitch. It's had to happen, Mike. Ever since you won the lottery, you've been nothing but a dick. What are you talking about? It's been five days since I won. Shut it. If you don't tell us where the money is, I'm gonna have my friend make you tell us. Who is this guy? And who, that guy? The clown mask over there? <laughs> this clown, right? Wanna well, know something about clowns? Clowns like me don't get faces like this! My god. About doing some shit to earn it, alright? Listen, when I get out of here, I'm gonna sue your ass so hard. <laughs> Motherfucker! Oh! Who told you get out of here, huh? 50, huh? 50, 50, huh? 50, 50. Where did you get this? Put the put the fucking sword away. Put the sword away. Give me the samurai sword. Get close it. Give, come on. Say sorry. Sorry. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Listen, I don't know what you guys are expecting to get out of this, but I don't have any money in the house. How the fuck can you not keep money in your house? You just won the lottery. Yeah, it's in the bank, that ass. That shit makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense, yeah. I, I figured it'd be like, like a vault or like a seat. In the movies, that's what they had. Yeah, you got boned. Listen, I could give you each, you know, a couple thousand. Look, shut up, look. Mike. It's not about the money. It's about this. We don't have that anymore. I did this to, to teach you a lesson. I guess it comes out now, but I just never had the balls to really tell you. I spent all the money. I just didn't have it in me to, you know, admit it to you. I'm a fuck up, man. And yeah, you're right. You deserve that 32%. I should have given it to you. I never wanted the money. I just wanted this. I just want my friend. I want my Mikey. Hey! 
What the fuck is this? Okay, all right. I'll get you guys some money. This is a shitload of money. <laughs> yeah, it is. Did your mask scared the shit out of him? <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. Uh, well, he was nice though. You are the, you're the worst. Can I get, can I get a lift though? Never. I think I'm gonna buy a Red Lobster slash shoe factory. Hang on, I'm either, I'm either gonna buy the Make-A-Wish Foundation and shut it down. I'm either gonna buy Morgan Freeman's scent or Kevin Spacey's shadow and, you know, just get paid off the royalties. I'm probably gonna buy Adam Sandler's career because it won't cost very much, but I'm not sure yet. I'm thinking of buying a, a Mini Cooper with a flamethrower attached on the top, so, you know, just blow away all the haters. Thinking of buying every ticket to Kid Rock's reunion tour. And <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>